Welcome back to CTV News Channel. I'm Jennifer Burke. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge are coming to Canada this fall. Governor General David Johnson has announced that Prince William and his wife Catherine will visit British Columbia and the Yukon. It will be the royal couple's second tour of Canada. Their first was in the summer of 2011 as newlyweds when they toured parts of eastern Canada and Alberta. Joining me now with more on this is CTV's royal commentator Richard Berthelsen. Richard, good to see you. Thank you, Jennifer. Tell us a little bit more about the dates and locations for this upcoming trip. Well, the dates haven't been officially announced by the government as yet, but I'm told that the visit is likely to take place just prior to Canadian Thanksgiving, so probably early October when the weather is still quite fine. And of course, we know they're going to British Columbia and Yukon. Now, those will be the uh, fifth and sixth jurisdictions that they've been to in Canada after having vis visited four provinces in the Northwest Territories in 2011. So. There's a, there's a long-term schedule for them to visit every province and territory in their first few visits, and this will be the next one. So it, it's taking our West Coast this time, last time we were in Eastern Canada and ended in Alberta. Yeah. Now, how, uh, how long ago was this trip planned? Because we heard Justin Trudeau kind of off the cuff seemingly invite them not that long ago to come visit Canada. Is this in response to that, or has this been uh, in the works for a while? This visit has been in, in the works for quite a long time. The government, uh, the previous government as well as the current government has had an interest in having Prince William come. Remember, Prince William will, all things being equal, one day be king of this country. So it's in, it's in everyone's interest for him to get to know its people, its places, political figures, various issues. So this visit has a long time in coming. A lot of people had thought that it would take place this fall, and the government finally managed to get an agreement on which provinces and, and the territory which would be involved. Yeah. How do governments pitch for a visit? How do prov provinces pitch individually? I mean, is there literally a delegation that, that extols the virtues of each province? Well, there is, a, there is, as I say, a schedule to get the members of the royal family in different provinces. So this is new provinces for William and Catherine, and they'll probably be visiting new provinces until they start repeating mm. uh, the ones that they've already been to. But there's a long-term plan. There's various anniversaries and celebrations that various provinces and territories want to highlight. A member of the royal family gives them worldwide access to the media and it helps to brand Canada. We know that the the... the the photographs from the last visit in Canada, particularly that one in Alberta, when they were at the Calgary Stampede, when they were in the Northwest Territories, when they were in Quebec City, those pictures have been run time and time again, and every time that promotes Canada and tourism to Canada. So that's really important in addition to the important role that it is in terms of the royal family celebrating different things. Now, we know we're headed towards our 150th anniversary in 2017. So this visit will start to promote that. And the Prime Minister noted in his release today that we're also, the visit will also focus on the natural beauty of Canada. Nowhere better to uh, focus on that than in British Columbia, our heritage and our traditions and institutions. And I think we'll also probably see uh, the members of the, these two members of the royal family focus on different charities and different causes that they've become more associated with, like mental health, like conservation, and like the armed forces. Sure. 15 seconds left to tell me, are they going to bring their adorable kids? Well, that's how, what everyone's hoping for. And I, will, I think it will depend on the school schedule. We know that Prince George has just recently begun uh, uh, kind of daycare school. Uh, and of course, there's one community in Canada, and particularly in British Columbia, really interested in seeing him. And of course, that's Prince George, British Columbia. So it will be very yes. interesting, a really big deal if they are able to come. It will depend basically on whether they can get one location they can stay in and then do day trips from that so that the children are not too upset by the amount of travel. CTV's royal commentator, Richard Berthelsen. Thank you, Richard. Pleasure, Jennifer.